back before any of us were in marketing or compliance, you know, it was, you had one to two decision makers, sometimes three. And now, and then it went to seven about five years ago. And now they're saying there are about 11 decision makers. And they're saying that it takes up to 22 touch points to convert. Yeah. So if you take 11 times 22, that is a lot more touch points than one person can ever manufacture. No, or and put together or compose. And that's not as as those metrics evolve, mm -hmm. then so too does the best way to communicate with yeah. those people. And social media, again, being free is a really good way to get a lot of those touch points, whether somebody is scrolling through, because it's not necessarily about somebody going to you and wanting to do business immediately. It's about if they hear, for example, Active Comply, you hear social media compliance, we hope that Active Comply pops into your head because you saw one of our blog posts mm -hmm. or you saw the other day that we had posted a video or you heard about us at a conference. It's about being present and it is such, they talk about the omni-channel um, presence for social media. It's being everywhere to the point that you're kind of encompassing. So whether it's subconsciously or not, they think subliminal. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> there yeah. you go. It, it is. It's subliminal messaging. You want somebody to be They're like, oh, we actually are having this problem. Who should I call? I know a couple of people because they've been very in front of me, but not necessarily yeah. selling. It doesn't, it's not about paid ads. It's that's the power of organic marketing. Well, and that omni channel, you know, you mentioned earlier, it seems very overwhelming. Yes. And one of the things that I've always been taught as a content marketer is reuse it. Yes. Don't just, it doesn't have just one life, it has 50. So, you know, we're here on this podcast talking, it's going to be a podcast. And then I'm gonna send it off to my lovely blog writer and she's going to put together a blog. And then we're gonna take that blog content and we're gonna put it on social media. And we're gonna put the audio from this on social media. We're gonna take snippets. So our, you know, God, we're famous. 30, 30 to 45 minute conversation is turned into potentially upwards of like 50 different touch points. When you think about all the different channels, all, you know, the blog posts, the newsletters, the everything that it goes into. So it doesn't have to be this, this stressful thing. It doesn't have to be, oh my gosh, I need to be posting on social media every day. It has to be a new piece of content. I'm going to be honest, a lot of content can generate itself. So if you went, hey, I wrote a blog or I put together this like letter to my customers and I really want to share this on social, you take a snippet of that letter for, to your customers, maybe tweak it a little bit, put it in as your copy, put in a link and there's a piece of content. It's already been, it's already lived two lives. Then, you know, you turn that into a little video of you just reading your letter to your customers and making it seem like, you know, you're speaking off the cuff. There's three. So like, then you can take that video and put it everywhere. It's omni-channel doesn't mean creating big buckets of content. It means taking those little tiny pieces that you have and making it seem like you're omnipresent.